Hello and welcome to Capacity Middle East Extra, powered by JSA. I'm Dean Perrine of JSA, and we are coming at you live on location from the Grand Hyatt Dubai. And I am here with Mr. Uh, Mr. Bernice Bissick. And Bernice is the Regional Director of Europe for Net Number Global Data Services. Bernice, welcome to uh, welcome to the uh, the discussion today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me here. You bet. So, um, you know what? We have the luxury of speaking to you before you actually speak on the CPAS panel later today. Why don't you give our viewers a little uh, a little insight on what uh, what that discussion will be about today? Absolutely. Uh, CPAS seems to be the national progression and evolution to the uh, natural progression and evolution to the existing messaging and voice businesses. So uh, there is a lot of conversation about that. Uh, generally, the idea behind the CPaaS is to allow businesses to add additional communication capabilities to their existing applications without mm -hmm. having to actually build those from the scratch. It will save them time and money. It will allow them to enrich the communication the businesses have between themselves, their customers, and their employees. So overall, um, CPaaS is expected to bring in those uh, additional benefits in terms of easy and fast and cost efficient uh, integration in real time in cloud and I guess the the most significant aspect of it it's going to be a better customer experience and it's in turn it should actually increase the messaging volumes that are uh, at the same time revenue for the whole for the whole industry yeah excellent so let's talk about the net number service portfolio i understand that you have kind of uh re reintroduced these um <clears throat> excuse me as three separate like use case lines why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what that looks like that is correct just recently net yeah. number announced um its new use case centric product portfolio that is Going that it co co consists of three product lines, and each product line has its own separate products and services within mm -hmm. that. So those three are uh, very use case specific. The first one is provisioning and is very North America centric, where net number runs the so-called net number registry that includes the telephone numbers uh, used for terminating A2P messaging that are known as 10 DLC at the same time all text-enabled landline numbers in the North America needs to be provisioned into that as well. So net number registry is actually integral part of the whole messaging ecosystem in the US. Uh, the second product line, uh, it's, um, it's routing, and the, there are a couple of different products there that I use for accurate SMS and voice routing. Uh, one of the products is called Kidder ID, and the second very important, something that is coming up, it also includes the data on um, RCS as well, mm -hmm. where uh, after a check in a certain telephone numbers, we are able to say whether that telephone number is actually RCS enabled or not. And the third product line or category is in the trust um, space, sort of, uh, where we try to uh, bring in the intelligence on uh, different products that are uh, fraud prevention related, something like. Uh, porting history that we call a number review or um, another one that we call a number risk, basically where we are able to tell customers whether a specific telephone number has been associated with, with any recent spam or scam activity. Very cool. So um, there is obviously a lot going on with net number um, yes. and uh, and to accommodate a lot of this, um, I understand that you are doing some hiring as well, some uh, some global hiring. That's, that's true as well. Uh, <laughs> as we accelerate the growth, uh, through strategic partnerships, mm -hmm. products, uh, portfolio improvements, as well as other investments. We are trying to bring in industry leaders as well mm -hmm. into the ranks. So uh, I'm, I'm thrilled to, to mention two of the recent additions. One of them is Dr. Michael LaFrance, who comes with a, he joins us as a vice Pre president of business and market development. And he comes with a close to 10 years of experience in the industry. Mm -hmm. Uh, he knows the industry's ins and outs, the, the markets, very keen awareness of the trends, uh, of the global industry trends, and his job will be actually to guide and shape net numbers, strategy, and evolution when it comes to the product lines. Uh, and the second and the most recent addition is uh, Bradley Greer, who joins us as a senior director of um, 
uh, data solutions and partnerships. Mm -hmm. uh, Brad, on the other hand, brings close to two decades of experience in a very complex la landscape of um, uh, data sourcing, identity protection, and his focus will actually be on sourcing a new data that are uh, that will be used to prevent fraud and the whole uh, mobile and identity uh, verification. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Very good. So, um, how's the show going for you? Uh, so far, so, far. so good. Uh, good to see everyone around. Of course. Uh, I see there is a lot of uh, discussion going on about the CPAS. Yep about what the future holds. Mm -hmm. uh, since we are in the region, there is a lot of conversations going on about um, regulatory environments and how that will uh, affect the, the whole industry. Yeah, yeah. So that is, it's going to be very interesting to see how all of that is going to pan out. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Bernice, thanks so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thanks again for having me. Have the rest of the show. Yeah, same yeah. to you. Right, and cheers. thank you, uh, viewers, for watching. We will uh, we'll see you soon.